we met uh, each other in India. It was love at first sight. Yeah. <laughs> we had our daughter Rachel. Oh yeah, that's the best part of our life. It was since she started speaking. I think, yeah, I yeah, think she has been asking, can we have a dog? Right now, our daughter goes to a private school. From this year, she is going to go to public school. So our household budget is going to change. The extra money that we're going to get in will cover for the dog expenses. Petting a dog in India is much different than United States of America. I want to get to know a first-hand experience. What are the things we need to know before we bring a puppy home? My name is Andrea Arden. I have been an animal behavior expert for the last 25 years. I'm excited to meet Narita and Kinshuk because I love it that people are seeking out somebody's help who's an expert in a field to make a decision that's such an important one, that's such a long-term decision. What are some of the things that you're, you're considering or looking for in a dog for your family? Very active and very kid-friendly and has good temperament. This sounds like a good start. Let's talk about what goes into taking care of a dog. Are you guys considering a puppy? Uh, Rachel is our only child and we don't want to have another child. So the main idea is uh, having a dog is to grow with her. No, that's great. To have a little best buddy like, yeah. for the next 10, yeah. 15 years. Puppies in particular need even more effort when it comes to training. Have you guys thought about that? Going like a puppy school? Yeah, sort of thing? so those are the concerns we have. Like what are the things we should know before bringing the puppy home? Part of the reason I don't want people to impulsively bring a dog into their family is because I very much worry that they haven't taken the time to really think about what the financial obligations will be. The biggest expense when you get a puppy is veterinary care. So pet insurance is a way of being able to give yourself sort of this sense of like relief that you know that those things that are that are foreseeable expenses with a dog, um, but also those things that maybe you didn't expect like emergency care. Alternate years, we tend to go to yeah, India. Yeah, two, three weeks, right. Any recommendation on that? I think it's really advisable when you're raising a puppy that is calm, cool, and collected when they're separated from you. Certainly there are lots of boarding kennel situations that you can find. If you know that every year you go away for two to three weeks, you need to also keep in mind to budget for that. When we met Andrea, she emphasized on the importance of training because only if his well-behaved will be well accepted across everywhere. Yeah, and the important thing is it has to be healthy and kid-friendly. So you guys have had some time to think on all the options that are out there for you guys in regards to welcoming a dog to your family. Where are you guys now? We, we are kind We're of narrowed closer. down. Yes, we have narrowed yeah. down. It can be a long process, but I think what's at the end of that process is really fun, which is all about putting in all this effort to raise a dog, to teach a dog, to make sure that you help them become the best dog they can be so that they're with your family and they're happy and you're happy for a long time to come. Our next step will be like uh, doing some more research on the insurance and the vet charges and then I think we are almost there. Six yes. months from now, yes, there will yes. be a dog. There will be a dog in the yes. house for sure. <laughs> yes.